This is for students who are having trouble using Haskell together with Atom or who just don't like that setup for some reason. I'm going to show you how to use any text editor together with Haskell. This is demo is being run on a Mac, but it'll work on any machine. Of course, you have to have Haskell installed. So I'm going to start by opening a text editor. I'll use text edit, which is a simple editor on the Mac, and I'm going to load a Haskell program in. So there it is. I find it convenient to have the program fill up the left-hand side of my screen. And now I'm going to open a terminal window and get Haskell running on the right-hand side of my screen. And I start Haskell by typing GHCI, which is the interactive Haskell system. So there I am. Now, in order to get the program on the left into Haskell on the right, I need to load it. And before I can load it, I need to change into the directory that it's located in. Um, there's a command for doing that in Haskell. It's colon cd. And I type in the directory name, the tab key does auto-completion, at least it does on this machine. And there I am in the right directory. And now I load the program. So you don't need to type .hs. You can if you want. So there it is. It's loaded. I can run expressions and uh, see what their values are like so. I type return at the end of the line and um, I can run quick check to see if that property at the bottom holds for 100 random values. So let's see. Hooray, it works. Okay. Now, suppose I want to change my program. I'll just introduce a bug. So I've changed sum score odd so that it produces the sum of the cubes of the odd numbers in a list instead of the sum of the squares. Uh, I need to save that. And then I need to load it into Haskell again. I could retype that load command. Uh, there's also a reload command which just saves me the trouble of having to remember the name of the program. Okay, there it is. And now I can uh, repeat my test. Uh, Control P goes back in the history of the commands that I've typed. And there we see that it fails now. And there's an example of a list that doesn't satisfy that property. No surprise there. So let me just put the program back the way it was. Save it. Over here, reload it. Retry the test. Oops. Retry the test. And it works. And to exit, I type colon quit. By the way, all these commands can be abbreviated. And there you have it. Any text editor you want, have fun.